Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. In today's video we are going to take up another very very interesting and challenging algebraic equation problem. So let's get started by writing x cannot be equal to negative 8 as this will generate indeterminate form. Now we will consider x equal to 2y. So we can write our equation 2y plus 8 whole power 5 over 2y plus 6 whole power 5 plus 2y plus 10 whole power 5 equal to 5. Now we will take 2 common from this bracket. So it will come out as 2 power 5 as a multiplier. 2 common from this bracket, 2 common from this bracket. So we can write our equation 2 power 5 times y plus 4 whole power 5 over 2 power 5. I will take common out. In the bracket we will write y plus 3 whole power 5 plus y plus 5 whole power 5. RHS is 5. Now we can cancel 2 power 5 from the numerator and denominator. So we can write our equation y plus 4 whole power 5 over y plus 3 whole power 5 plus y plus 5 whole power 5 equal to 5. Now I will use our second substitution. Let's say y plus 4 equal to t. So I can write our equation in variable t, t power 5 over y plus 4 is t then y plus 3 will be t minus 1 whole power 5 and y plus 5 will be t plus 1 whole power 5 equal to 5. Now I will use binomial expansion for t plus 1 whole power 5 and for t minus 1 whole power 5. Then we will calculate our denominator by adding both the equations. So let me write here t power 5 plus 5 times t power 4 plus 10 times t cube plus 10 times t square plus 5 times t plus 1. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Now we will write t minus 1 whole power 5 as t power 5 minus 5t power 4 plus 10t cube minus 10t square. Then we will write plus 5t minus 1. Now we have to add both the equations. So I am writing this is numerator, this is denominator. So we can write once we will add both the equations denominator equal to 2 times in the bracket t power 5 plus 10t cube plus 5t. Rest of the terms will be cancelled out. Now we will replace this value with our denominator. Let me write here t power 5 over 2 times in the bracket we will write t power 5 plus 10t cube plus 5t equal to 5. Now I can take t common from the denominator's bracket. 
and I will multiply both sides by 2. So let's multiply by 2 both sides. Now we can write t power 5 over t is common. In the bracket, we'll get t power 4 plus 10t square plus 5. And RHS will be 10 now. Now we can cancel this t. So numerator power will be 4. I will write t power 4 over t power 4 plus 10t square plus 5 equal to 10. Now we will cross multiply as denominator cannot be 0. So we can write t power 4 equal to 10 times t power 4 plus 10 times t square plus 5. Or I can write t power 4 will be equal to 10 t power 4 plus 100 t square plus 50. Now we will take all the terms to LHS. So we will get 9 times t power 4 plus 100 t square plus 50 equal to 0. Now we can assume t square is equal to a. So our equation will be quadratic in a. 9a square plus 100a plus 50 equal to 0. Now we will apply quadratic formula. So I will write here as per general formula minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus 4 times ac over 2 times a. So we will write here minus 100 plus minus the square root of b square. So 100 is square minus 4 times 9 times 50 over 2 times 9. This will be equal to minus 100 plus minus the square root of 100 square is 10,000 minus 50 times 4 is 200, 200 times 9 is 1,800 divided by 18. Now we can write a equal to minus 100 plus minus square root 8200. Let me write here minus 100 plus minus square root 8200 divided by 2 times 9 is 18. Or we can write here minus 100 plus minus square root 100 is 10. So 10 is square root 82 over 18. Or we can write minus 50 plus minus 5 times square root 82 over 9. Now a was t square. So I will write here this is a and also this is t square. So I can write the value of t. But before that if we will check this value is coming out negative. Both the solutions, both the roots negative. So we will write here t square is equal to let's take minus common. So in the bracket we can write 50 plus minus. It will become minus plus but it won't affect. So I will write square root 82 over 9. Now I will consider square root both sides. So square root of negative number will generate i. So I can write t will be equal to plus minus i 
the square root 9 in the denominator will give us 3. Then we can write the square root of 50 plus minus 5 square root 82. Let me write here t equal to plus minus i over 3 times square root of 50 plus minus 5 square root 82. Now t was y plus 4. So I will write here y plus 4 equal to plus minus i over 3 the square root of 50 plus minus 5 square root 82. Now we will subtract 4 from both the sides. We will get y equal to minus 4 plus minus i over 3 the square root of 50 plus minus 5 square root 82. Now y was x over 2. So I will write x over 2 equal to minus 4 plus minus i over 3 the square root of 50 plus minus 5 square root 82. Now we will multiply both sides by 2. We will get x. So x will be equal to negative 8 plus minus 2i over 3 the square root of 50 plus minus 5 square root 82. So we are having overall 4 solutions. Let me write here. Let me write x first. Now I will write with plus sign. We will have Two solutions with minus sign here we will have two solutions so i will write x1 equal to minus 8 plus 2i over 3 the square root of 50 plus 5 square root 82 this is our first solution second solution will be x2 this is equal to plus 2i over 3 square root of 50 minus 5 square root 82. So with plus sign we are having x1 and x2. Now we will consider minus sign. We will write x3 and x4. So I can write x3 will be equal to minus 8 minus 2i over 3 square root of 50 plus 5 square root 82 and then we will write x4 this will be equal to minus 8 minus 2i over 3 times square root of 50 minus 5 square root 82 all solutions are complex value i hope friends you will like this video Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.